Hello, I am Oleg. Today we are traveling in the one of the uh, oldest Russian cities, Pskov name. The first name of the city was Pliskova, which is mean the Pearling Watch. Uh, the first mention about the city was uh, dates to the uh, 903, it's 10th century. In the records, in the records was the note that the Duke of the Kiev uh, the Prince uh, Vladimir married all the local lady Olga Pskovskaya and this year is the, the year of the birthday of the city so in the beginning of this century in the 2003 the city celebrated 1100 anniversary of the city and uh, what else about the history a little later yeah i think it's all for now this is a chrome or kremlin with name appeared after the birthday of the city in the 10th century. In the fort, we can see the Troitsky Cathedral, Trinity Cathedral. A little of history. The first prince of the Pskov was the son of the uh, prince Vladimir Kievsky, Sudaslav. But he was in prison, but his older brother Yaroslav and died in the prison. In the 12th century, at the 13th century, the Teuton knights occupied the Pskov. It was a, a 12th first uh, but the Russian prince Saint Alexander Nevsky we know the famous battle on ice battle near the Pskov on Chutskoy Lake he freed the Pskov from the Teuton Knights okay in the 13th century uh, to, de to defend the city the citizen of the Pskov invited the Lithuanian prince uh, Daumautas. In the Russian, we, uh, his name will be Dovmont. Uh, this prince uh, certified this fortress and also has uh, a lot of war with the Teuton knights. Uh, we know that some part of this fortress of this chrome is the Dovmont chrome. What do you think about this city? What is your opinion? What is your first impressions? Um, <laughs> good coffees. <laughs> I like it. Bye. This is the Rio Velika, the current Rio. As a republic, all the decisions ex uh, ex was accepted by the Becha. It's a meeting of the main group, social group of the city. The main social group was the merchants. They had the trading with the European countries. That's why the city was accepted to the 
Gansitic League. Uh, in reality, it it was the last outpost of the Russia for the Western merchants. It uh, Pskov was one of the biggest and richest country in the uh, Russia of the uh, 12, 13 centuries. The Russian soldiers of medieval times has this type of armor. These are another soldiers. It's another army. The Pskov was occupied in the time of the Second World War. We are on the core of the chrome. Chrome and other words, Kremlin. First, Lithuanian prince invited uh, to his principality to be the prince of the Pskov. Firstly, he was Catholic religion, but converted into Orthodox Church. The prince of Mont made a lord for the city Pskov. For example, he fortified the citadel. The sword of the prince. <laughs> you see, gentlemen, is a red cloth. These are the soldiers of the Grand Principality of Moscovia. The Pskov was conquered uh, in 16th century by the soldiers of the Moscow Municipality Army. The soldiers of the Army of Grand Principality of Moscovia. This is the 16th century, it seems. The photograph on the So the first one called Zvitin, it's like a traditional drink. Uh, the second one, it's uh, a kind of jam from Cowberry. Uh, and the third one is uh, nuts with honey. So it's very tasty and you can eat it with uh, tea. This is Trinity Cathedral. It was built in the 12th century, in 11. 38. The importance of the Pskov was declined in the beginning of the 18th century. Peter the first uh, started the so-called northern war with the Sweden uh, to restore the territories near the Baltic Sea. Uh, also, he uh, conquered the part of the Estonia and the Latvia. So the Pskov wasn't uh, 
as the fortress of the border, fortress the border citadel. It's first and the second, the all main trade ways from that time passed from through the Saint Petersburg. River the Great. Река Великая in Russian. These walls are about 80 meters high. The Pskov is a regional uh, center. It's the center of the Pskovsky uh, area. And the population is about 200,000 people. The service started at the cathedral. You are listening to the voices of the priest. <laughs> 